Gary Neville has joined us from the gantry. You didn't need to wear all black. You can celebrate today <laughs> with a Manchester United win. Look, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer said that's the kind of performance we need to see more of. We need that more consistently. Is it? Is, is that the levels Manchester United should be aiming for? Well, yeah, I'm, I'm stunned that it's taken six, seven, eight weeks of really bad performances. Um, inept attitude to defending without the ball. Those stats that you showed before the game, to be fair, were something that you wouldn't want on your CV at any point in your career, let alone at Manchester United. Um, I think there's some Tottenham fans coming in. <laughs> um, and why has it taken the manager to be on the brink of the sack? Why has it taken the... 5-0 um, defeat by Liverpool to get into a shape and look like the half intense in the work without a ball. So what we saw today was something that, to be fair, you see from every other team in the Premier League. Crystal Palace have gone to City today and won, but when you saw Crystal Palace against, Ast uh, against Arsenal a week last Monday on Monday Night Football, they defended with that level of intensity. Every other team does in the Premier League. Burnley do. So why don't Manchester United have to do it? So I don't know why it's taken so long. I don't know why it's taken so long for the coaching staff to demand that from the players or from the players to actually step up and do it, whichever way you want to look at it. But it shouldn't have to take that much. But they've certainly done something today that they've not done all season. That's look half a team without the ball. That is the, the question, though, isn't it? Is whether it's coming from the, the coaching staff and the manager and, and his staff or whether it's coming from the play. It always is when, when teams put in a run of, of poor performances or have bad results, is where the, the balance of that yeah. is. What, what do you think? Well, look, I've not liked the body language of certain things that I've seen in the last three or four games. Players throwing their arms around, stomping off the pitch. Not Look like they're disconnected from the manager, look like they're sort of not part of the problem, pushing it away. Um, the manager on the touchline not looking like he can impact them, looking like they're two bigger characters, two bigger egos. It looks like something's happened this week where they have come together at least. It looks like they've at least said, look, look we're going to start doing this together. Because in the last few weeks, I've not felt that at all. Um, to the point last week where Graham said, you know, do they need new coaches in to come and coach them differently? But it's proved today that they can put some sort of performance together. Why are Manchester United pressing Liverpool? What happened last Sunday? Why did they think for one minute they could press Liverpool Football Club, having watched them for four years? So they've gone into a game today and played the only way this Manchester United group of players can, and the only way in which this coach, actually, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, can play these players, because he's played like that for three years on the counter-attack, in moments. But today was a decent start, but it doesn't let anybody off the hook, because they've got a game against Atalanta on Wednesday, and they've got a game against City next Sunday, which will still put massive pressure on the manager if they go back to how they were. So it's a start, but nothing more than that. It'll be Saturday, Gary, so make sure Saturday, you're there for sorry. the lunchtime yeah. kick-off for the Manchester derby. Yeah. Um, look, there was a change in information. Manchester United have played that three times now under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. They beat Chelsea, Manchester City and, and now Tottenham. Is, is that the way forward? Yeah, because I think the, the, uh, whichever pair or whichever back four you put together this moment in time aren't capable, so they need bolstering. I thought Varane did that job well today, bolstered that back four. Um, I thought it made the midfield players a lot more confident to press and go and win the ball back. But the big difference was Cavani and Ronaldo being close to the midfield, being close to the back four. They're about 30 metres from back to front all game. They never moved. They were like that, shifting up together and moving back together. Um, and I have to say, the last few weeks, it's been something like 45, 50 metres. You can drive a bus through them. So there's been a massive change this week at Manchester United. He said they've worked on it since Tuesday, good training sessions. But why has it taken really bad performances to get to that point. Maybe it's a wake-up they needed, but it shouldn't have had to have gotten to that with that quality of player and the manager that they've had. Not just good training sessions, the best ever he's seen <laughs> as Manchester United manager for Edison Cavani on, on Tuesday. Look, in, in terms of the, the structure of Manchester United, in terms of the formation, Roy, is that something that is, is possible for Manchester United to, to take forward? Can they, can they have that as their template? Yeah, it has to be, because some of their best re well, some of their biggest results and best results since all he's been in the job has been, whatever, whether it be three at the back of all, is playing on the counter-attack. I think it suits Man United down to the ground. We played it in. It's, I think there's an element of arrogance that teams need to be dominating possession. Far from it. I think United have the players to play on that counter-attack. But today was... Today was really easy for them against Spurs. They're a big test, obviously, now again, to keep from any Man United players. How are you doing the big games? And the big game for Man United this week is, is Man City at home. And there'll be nothing wrong, in principle, with sitting in. But obviously, Man City will have more quality when they have their, their type of possession. But certainly, from Man United's point of view, in and out of possession, playing on the counter-attack, I think, suits them. And there's nothing wrong with it. And if that needs to be the, the formation for the next few months, then go with it. And they've got, obviously, good other players to come and play in the system. It's not as if they're stuck with it. Listen, they still have people like Rashford to come on and people like that. I think it's fine. I think I, there was no surprises they went that way to, today. And you just knew 
they were going to win the game, playing that system, and the players with that mentality. But again, the key is for Man United is to, it's all right winning football matches, is to continue it and be consistent and do it week in, week out. That's why you're playing for it, one of the biggest and best clubs in the world. Do it week in, week out, not when you fancy it. Is there an element of, of Manchester United being under pressure to be more on the front foot in terms of, of taking the, the Solskjaer project forward, that the next step was seen as taking games to, to teams more than, than being a counter-attacking side? Um, <clears throat> they're not good enough to take against the big teams to take the game to them. I think, you know, they should always play the way they've played today. You not get strung out. You try when you haven't got the ball to have your defence in touch with your midfield, your midfield in touch with your strikers. But last week when we saw them trying to press high against Liverpool, the midfield were distanced from the strikers and Liverpool got out time and time again. Man United have genuine pace in the players that play up front. So there's nothing wrong with dropping off, being compact, the three parts of the team all together, in and around the halfway line. And when you nick it or when you win it back through a tackle or an interception, then these quick players sprinting forward towards opposition goal. Where they were coming from, like Gary's point is a valid one. Why is it taking this long for the manager stroke coaches to work out the best way to get these players playing? I said last week, the conversation should have been with Ronaldo. Look, you can't play in every game. 36, soon to be, soon to be 37, you've got enough football time and you'll score enough goals for us. And, you're, you know, and I want you in around the place showing what a good example you are. I, again, I said it last week, there's not many people who can sit in a room with the very best footballers out there and say, you know what, I think I was, I've been the best player ever in the history of the game. Ronaldo can genuinely say that, and, and people would argue that point in his favour. But I think there's no disgrace. Roy's point again is another good one. The arrogance that Man United maybe are capable of showing, like all big clubs are capable of showing, is that we can go out and just take teams on in an open, expansive game of football. This team can't do that, because the midfield is not the best... Um, the guys up front who, when they're creating and scoring chances, are some of the best, but they ain't the best when it's doing the hard yards. Mm -hmm. Those days have gone for some of them. And maybe in Fernandez, it's never been there, but they, they, they are still a formidable outfit when they get it right, like they did today. And fair play to them. They've bounced back in what must have been a terrible, terrible week for them. They've been criticised from pillar to post, and deservedly so, but they've shot a bit of metal today. But they've been sorry, but they've been open in every game. It's not with the Liverpool game obviously compounded it to concede five at home to your arch rivals. Mm. It was the four the previous week at Leicester. Every game we've seen them, they've been they've been so open, and everyone's come back. The player of the season so far for Man United is probably the goalkeeper. So it's not just last week. Last week, last week compounded it. But sometimes it takes a lot for the penny to drop and maybe it did obviously take a while for Ollie and the staff and the players to say, listen, we need to regroup, we need to sit in and hit teams on the break. The fact it was Liverpool really compounds it. You know, Tottenham stuff them, don't they, um, last year. But it's, it's you know, it's, it's four Liverpool at Leicester, doing it. Four at Leicester the previous week and Leicester haven't really got up and running. Oh. The four at Leicester was really, again, really, really poor defending. Yeah. So something had to be done.